We believe that you are exhibiting signs of codependency. Co I didn't know you could read. <laughs> You're saying it wrong. Codependence. Pathetic, isn't it? Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. We open on Selena asking Cody whether or not he considers himself single and if he might sleep with other people when he goes home. You can't say something nice. Don't say anything. I can only about four coffees today. Right? <laughs> so, is that a yes or a no? Meanwhile, I don't know. I think Liv got some demons that she needs to get through. I don't know how Jackson takes it. I'd be out of She's gotten crazier, but no hotter. Meanwhile, Mitch doesn't need a morning cup of coffee, but rather a quickie with Ella. Quickie for Liv has now turned against the experts who have suggested that holding a grudge might be a character flaw. The way the experts were speaking to me last night about how I hold a grudge and how that's going to affect my relationship with Jackson is complete and utter crap. You hold a grudge. Cool. I know that. I like that about me. It's reflection week and the couples are tasked with watching how their partner reacted when they first saw them on their wedding day. Brent and Temtem are watching back the footage from the wedding day. Tamara's first impression of Brent is that... From first impressions, he doesn't appear to be what I hoped for. He's a little bit shorter than I expected, to be honest. Um, he is short for a guy. Like, <laughs> really short of myself. He is too short and not her type and she's not really feeling it but they both decide that's actually quite kind of Tamara so we move swiftly along. Anyway, that wasn't too bad. No, no it wasn't. Up next is Mitch and Ella but it doesn't last long. Mitchell's a sol solid 10 out of 10. Looks wise, maybe, maybe 11 out of 10. I feel like it's, yeah, it's nice. Can I get a copy of that? <laughs> Cody and Selena are up next. They watch as Cody basically says that Selena came on too strong. When I turn around and say Selena, was it what I expected? She's not, a bit like, she's not my usual type. Cody didn't appreciate Selena at first sight. Things are a touch awkward now. So. What was the word that you used? mesmerized is that really oh my god she was like mesmerized by me she seems just like mesmerized by me which is i can't i'm just not used to it so i don't know how to take it well we're off to a good start jack and dominica are playing uno because they are math's couple goals <laughs> they are very excited to be looking back on their wedding video they are very happy watching it back and i'm also delighted and very happy watching it back from first impressions, he's he's perfect. Italian, check. Dog lover, check. Vegetarian, check. Definitely a match that I can see going the long term. From everything that I was expecting and, you know, hoping for, uh, I'm, I'm over the moon. That felt good. Head over heels, Olivia and Jackson bond over being obsessed with each other since day one. Head over heels then. Head over heels now. Next part of Reflection Week is providing feedback on other couples' relationships. Tamara and Brent have to write a letter to Mitch and Ella and also give them a fun activity to do. Tam Tam thinks Ella is insecure, so they're appointing them a trust exercise. Ella is quite an insecure girl um, and I don't think that she's getting as much reassurance from Mitch that their relationship is secure. The task is going through each other's phone for five minutes. Mitch isn't interested in doing the task but wants Ella to do so, so that he can speak about his secret folder aka the vault. Um, what's in this little folder? Mitch confirms there is content of explicit pictures in there. You can't go on that one. Keep looking. <laughs> That's a vault. Ella feels more insecure now. Thanks Tammy. And Brent. Right now, in the experiment and after that task, I feel my insecurities have probably risen. Dominica and Jack have to write a letter to Olivia and Jackson and vice versa. 
Dom wants to write to Olivia that she's a mole, but refrains herself. Lastly, you're a mole. I know we can't write that, but I would write that. <laughs> Olivia acts like she doesn't know how to tackle this task. Jackson is proud of her for writing the letter and not spontaneously combusting in the process. I'd say we're off to a great start. Liv refuses to engage in such ridiculous tasks before snatching the pen of Jackson and starts writing a short novel. I believe that Jackson and I pussyfooted around it enough to make it a fair task that will actually benefit them without having any digs at them. Good luck. Uh, good luck. Two hours later. Jack is reading the letter which Liv and Jackson have made Jack write down three, three needs of yours that you feel are not being met in your relationship. Read them out loud to Dom. Hope these can benefit your relationship. Good luck and all the best. This is what he comes up with. One, he needs reciprocated affection. Secondly, he needs to be appreciated for the things he does. Now three is the big one. I need to know that we will have a clear path to our next steps as a couple at the end of this experiment. Eventually. It's Liv and Jackson's turn to open the letter and task. They are told they are codependent on one another and Olivia has this evil fake laughter. I think she's lost her marbles. I've kind of been dreading that letter. Exactly how ugly is this going to get? We believe that you are exhibiting signs of codependency. I didn't know you could read. <laughs> You're saying it wrong. Codependence. Pathetic, isn't it? I think the task is a bit shit. Why does it have to be like this? Willing to do it to prove that we're not codependent. Challenge accepted. To prove that letter from Dominica and Jack wrong. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. It's fine. He's coming back tomorrow. I can do that. See ya. Gone forever. They have been asked to spend the night apart with no communication. Just relax, unwind, enjoyed a bit of me time. Got to train this morning. It's great. It's the next day and Olivia is saying Jackson was taken away from her. Jackson was taken from me. So Jackson being gone last night left me a lot of room to really think about why I should give the experiment any more of my time or energy to be clear jackson was probably on the same floor as her in the same building the time apart has made her realize that she wants to rethink her involvement in the experiment so i definitely want to talk to jackson about the experiment and whether or not i want to stay two thousand years later <laughs> what'd you get up to when they are reunited, Liv tells Jackson that she's been railroaded, gaslighted, attempts at assassination, and Liv, you've spiraled even deeper than we've expected. Yeah, it's a little much. Mm -hmm. Jackson tells her to take a deep breath. God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my oh. God. But you need to take a deep breath because you're very wound up right now. Oh, calm down, girl. What you need to do is just take a breath. Relax and just focus on us. It frustrates him that Olivia is more worried about what's going on in the experiment than seeing her husband who's been missing for a whole 24 hours. You didn't even say, it wasn't even a very good hello then. You oh, were more sorry. worried about this. That's what shits me. You were more worried about this than us. And that's all folks. That is this episode. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, see you soon. Lastly, you're a mole. No. I know we can't write that, but I would write that. <laughs>